Hey guys, so welcome to another video. My name is Shisan Zianga and I make videos about the beauty pigeons. If you're interested in that, just consider subscribing to the channel and checking out my other videos. So today guys, I'm going to be reacting to some of the worst beauty pigeon answers. And honestly, I think that according to me, they're better than me. Like my answers are way more worse than these or that I've not yet watched. But let's get started. Please bear in mind that everything that I say is just my opinion and what I think. I'm not trying to laugh at them. I'm just trying to see what I think was going on in their minds and just what I think about the way that they answer. I'm not trying to laugh at anyone. So let's get started. Women were to rule the world by the year 2020. What two things do you think would be very different? If women were to rule the world by the year 2020, what two things do you think would be very different? If women were to rule the world by 2020, what two, the two things that I think would be very different, very different is the first, having a girl power, which means uh, being responsibility of a girl and <laughs> Okay guys, so according to me, I think that the answer, like the idea that she had for the answer was good. The problem was that she did not know how to explain it and I think that maybe English was not her main language because she was trying to look at the question again and read from there and correct me if I'm wrong, but this pigeon was in the Philippines, right? Because that guy there, he was the host of Miss Universe Philippines 2021 and normally I don't think English is the main language for Filipinos, like they are the Filipino and the Tagalog. I think they speak those languages there more, I don't know, but I'm not trying to say that the idea that she had was good. Like she was saying that, talking about girl power and that most of the past presidents are men and so with all of these girls can do what men can also do that's what she wanted to see oh that's what she said but now she's she lacked more words to add to support the answer so i think that she was good but now it was the way that she had to express it like maybe she had language barrier or difficulty let's go to the next question i am especially proud to be a first generation american and a resident of Hawaii, our youngest state. Our nation's pride lies deep within the hearts of its people. American has faith in the liberty and justice, and we all have faith and believe in ourselves. The United States' freedom and opportunity is one of the greatest. We are truly the land of the great. From the rocky shores of Hawaii to the beautiful sandy beaches of Hawaii. America is our home. Guys, honestly, I don't see what's so worse about this answer apart from the fact that she said that from the rocky shores of Hawaii to the distance of Hawaii, I want to hear something like from Hawaii to um Alaska, right? From Hawaii to Alaska, something like because they're away from down to up. That's how the US map is going if I'm wrong. So I think that the answer was good. It was just there that she fumbled. And I like how she was saying Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. So I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well, also like Hawaii. So I just think that the answer was not bad, seriously. I think she spoke very well. Like you can see that she was confident. It was only way she said from Hawaii to Hawaii. So I think that the answer is good. Let's go on to the next question. So the next answer. Thank you, Phil. Select a card, please. I'll get them before them. Judge number one, Diego Boneta. Your question, please, Diego, for Ms. Venezuela. If you could make a new law, what would it be and explain why? Si pudieras promulgar una nueva ley, ¿Cuál sería? Y explíqueme por qué sería eso. I think that any laws that are in constitution or in life are already made. I think that we should have 
a, a straight way to go in our similar or uh, in, in our life as it is. For example, I am a surfer and I think that the, the best way that I can take is the way that I wait for it. So please do our only uh, low that we can do. Thank you, Vegas. Thank you. Thank you. Okay guys, look at this. I just want to see that if you are coming to this stage and say a question, if English is not your main language and you have a translator there, like according, according to me, use a translator seriously. At this point, don't show that you over know, for example. But I'm not saying that she was trying to show, but I think that if she used her translator and she spoke from her normal language and it was translated, like the answer could have come out way better because look at how she was speaking in. Um, English, right? I don't think English is the main language of Venezuela. And she was like saying, um, like, um, I know that that's how I also do when I answer questions. Like, I know that my answers are far more worse. But I think that, honestly, if she used her translator, she could have answered these questions better and it could have been good the way that she answered. As compared to how she was just trying to speak in English and using the flowers of, um, uh, you understand? Jeannie, you're so tall. And for our last judge, our 1969 Miss Universe, Miss Gloria Diaz. Okay, Jeannie. I am going to ask you a question that um, ne not necessarily... Um, practical but if you were given a chance to choose to become beautiful but not too smart or very smart and not too beautiful what would you prefer to be and why <laughs> well, repeat the question one more time can you repeat it just one more time beautiful but not too smart. Basically, um, not stupid, but not too smart. <laughs> but very smart. Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans. Guys, honestly, according to Matthew, like this question, like, it's very hard, seriously. Because to choose between being beautiful and not smart, and then being smart but not beautiful like seriously this question is very hard i cannot see myself answering this seriously but if i want to try i'll say i'll be in the middle because i like i like caring about i like looks a lot honestly so like i think that if a judge asks you this question <laughs> it's like they really have it in for you like seriously because this question is very hard to choose honestly because <laughs> anyways let's go to the next question Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps and uh, I believe that our ed education like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq everywhere like such as and I believe that they should, uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. Uh, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries so we will be able to build up our future for our children. Thank you very much, South Carolina. Okay guys, so listen to that. <laughs> okay, so honestly, like, I think that the idea that she had was good but it's like she got mixed up or she mixed up the answer because look at this, she started off, she started she started up by saying that it's because they don't have maps so that's why they cannot locate us on the map and i think that answer is good and fair but now she said the education system like that of south africa and iraq is better so the strides learn from south africans and iraq i think what she was, what she was trying to see was that I, I can't really explain it but i think she was trying to say something 
like i think that the idea that she had was good but now it's like she got mixed up in the answer because she said that the reason why they couldn't locate the us on the map was because they don't have the maps and i think that at that point the answer is good and fair with this answer i think like she got mixed up but still i, I don't know why but it just got it was just a mix up to me honestly and the answer to like it's just so funny like when you join everything together that she said it's just so funny so Let's continue. I like what to say again, honestly. Judge number three, Nini Leaks. Your question, please. A recent report shows that in 40% of American families with children, women are the primary earners, yet they continue to earn less than men. What does this say about society? I think we can re relate this back to education and how we are continuing to try to strive to figure out how to create jobs right now. That is the biggest problem and I think especially the men are um, seen as the leaders of this and so we need to try to figure out how to create education better so that we can solve this problem. Thank you. Thank you, Utah. Thank you, sweetheart. All right, next let's have Alabama. So there's like, I couldn't see me, I think that this answer is good, like it's not bad. I don't know why it's listed at the category of worst answers, but I think, I don't know honestly, the idea that she had talking about education, it all sums up education, like if you're educated, you know that there should be equality between men and women, so I think the idea is good, maybe she's not put it very well, but according to me, I don't think it's bad that it's in the category of worst answers, honestly, but anyways, that's just it. Okay guys, according to me, I think that this answer is like, it was not easy, like, it's not easy to be on the stage with pressure in front of more than 1,000 people. Then, yeah, head is already functioning, like, okay, to say everything exactly also. And honestly, my answers are way more worse, like, you can go and check out the videos where I answer some of Daniel Walker's questions, you see that I'm totally worse more than them. So honestly, I think that these girls, like, they really try a lot and I like them a lot. And thank you so much for watching. Please what you think about my reaction or the answers in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more participation videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you were given a chance to choose to become beautiful but not too smart or very smart and not too beautiful, what would you prefer to be and why?